Okay, today we need to talk about what some basic stuff is for the kitchen that you need to cook. So this is all real basic, but you, you need it just so that you can get some good meals done. So first thing are a couple of frying pans, a couple of different sizes. Um, this one's more really a skillet, what they call a skillet. And then kind of a frying pan here. A couple different sizes because if you do a pound or two of ground beef that you're browning up, you're gonna want a bigger one. If you do an egg or something, you're gonna want a smaller one. You can get more sizes, but at least a couple basics. Also, a couple different size um, pots. Everything, if you can, should have lids. This one doesn't come with a lid, but these do, and you should get the lids, make sure. A couple different size pots like that for boiling, for doing soups, or doing um, boiling any kind of liquid. You may want a big pot, especially if you are uh, doing food for all roommates kind of thing. If you're doing four people, you're probably gonna want something like this if you're doing pasta, so it has more water, more space to, before it boils over. Um, cutting boards, a couple different size cutting boards, a couple different cutting boards for sure. You wanna make sure that if you're using, if you're doing any kind of poultry or any meat or anything like that, including eggs, if you have it on one, you wanna have then all your other food on something else to make sure you don't get uh, the food poisoning stuff going. So try to keep your, your food separated when you're chopping. Colander to drain your pasta. Don't rinse your pasta, just drain your pasta. So you wanna have a colander. You want some different size mixing bowls. This is a utensil holder. When, you have, when you're stirring something on the stove and then you put it on the counter and then you've got your spaghetti sauce or whatever all over the counter, it's a mess. Use that, see how fancy that is? And then you just have a mess in here and you can wash that off. For your utensils, you wanna have tongs. You wanna have a couple different kinds of spoons. A slotted spoon for when you're trying to pick things up but not get the juices with it. A regular spoon, when you wanna get the juices with it. And a ladle, which winter is coming, fall is coming, winter's coming, chili will be your friend. You want something like that to be able to scoop out soups, um, chilies, that kind of thing. <clears throat> a couple different kinds of spatulas. This one bigger than the other so that you can flip things. If you're making pancakes, if you're making something on the griddle, then um, you're gonna to wanna to be able to flip things with it a little bit easier, or even in a pan, but that's more for flipping. This is more for breaking up. If I'm doing meat in the pan, I'm gonna use that kind of harder end and break up the meat and stir it that way. And again, slotted, so you're not picking up a lot of juices with it. This spatula is really good. I use this all the time with eggs. Uh, if you've watched my scrambled eggs thing, I'm constantly scooping around the sides and bringing the eggs up. This um, rubber um, spatula is really good for that. Then you want some measuring cups and measuring spoons. There will be times when you use them. I know many times in my recipes, I just say, oh, that much looks good. But um, there are, will be times when you actually have to measure things. So get some measuring cups and measuring spoons. You want several different kinds of knives, several different sizes. So we got this one and a medium one and then a small one. I use this for if I'm cutting up, like cutting um, an apple up or cutting um, strawberries, pulling the pit out of the strawberries, something like that. So you want a little paring knife like that. Then you want a couple of bigger knives. The griddle, which I um, is again kind of invaluable. I, we use that quite a bit for stuff we do here. And then oven mitts, because when you have something in the oven, you need oven mitts. And trust me, I have forgotten and tried to take something out of the oven after being on 400 degrees for an hour and oven mitts. So those are really the basics for making sure that you have um, all the utensils you need to cook in the, uh, in the kitchen. And those should be pretty much all the things you need for any recipes I'm gonna be showing you out here, okay?